Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It's a Tuesday, and we've got a great show lined up today. We sure do. But first, we've got to get checked out on what the weather looks like for the week and the weekend. All right, well, temperatures are actually very nice right now. A live look, Dunes Realty Garden City camera, not a cloud in the sky. And no matter what sky cam you pick, that's going to be the case. You can always check out our sky cams by going to our website, WPDE.com. Click on the weather tab and there you'll find our sky cams. Right now, temperatures actually warming up a little faster than expected. Already a degree shy of 80 in Bennettsville, 5 degrees from 80 in Darlington. It's 75 in Florence as well, 72 in Marion, even 75 down in Myrtle Beach, 73 Georgetown, 72 in North Myrtle. As a result, we do actually have to boost those temperatures. Remember this morning we actually had the 40s during the 7 a.m. hour. Now those temperatures we've had to raise up just slightly. So today around an 85 to an 86 degree day across the PD and the border belt. A little closer to the coastline wouldn't even be surprised if we come within a degree or even two over in Myrtle Beach from reaching the 80 degree mark. Uh, something that you weren't expected to do today, at least until tomorrow. Now this wind south to southwest at five miles per hour. Tomorrow the warm up continues. These temperatures more than likely will also be boosted if we are higher today. On our Thursday, we increase yet again, and then by Friday and Saturday, we introduce the 90 degree temperature mark across much of the PD and border belt saying hello to the first 90 degree temperatures of the year. Beyond that, Saturday night into Sunday, that's when a cold front will come in towards our region. Now this front will be decaying, meaning we'll only get some light rain showers. And if it lasts into the afternoon on our set, uh, Sunday, a few patchy thunderstorms, but no severe weather expected. We will keep this warm weather around for quite some time with those 80s along the Grand Strand on Saturday and near 90 degree temperatures on Sunday. This cold front will actually drop our temperatures by about 10 degrees, but because we're about 10 degrees above average, we'll only be starting out right around average to start next week. All right, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live right now with our Grand Strand Humane Society Pet of the Week. This is Mila, and you know what? Normally shelter dogs don't come to their names because it's names you've made yeah. up, but Mila does because she's an owner surrender. Yes. Kathy, tell me a little bit about her. Um, Mila is around 10 years old. She came in um, with actually with a, with a one-eyed cat. Okay. She's only got one eye. <laughs> so as a pair, yeah, they, the, they go well together yeah, as a pair. It would be nice if they could go together, but they don't have to go together. Okay. They're not really a bonded and pair. So but she it is would be an great. owner surrender. She yeah. looks great. What, what kind of dog are we uh, talking? Well, we're guessing around maybe Afghan and okay. Kali-ish. I don't know, but she's probably, like I said, she's, she's about 10 really years old. She's sweet. She is sweet. She's perfect. She's great in the car. She's great with kids. She came in with the, she was with a family that had, um, I think, three kids, three and, three and five, uh, eight years old. Okay, so she's so. good with kids and it just seems like an all-around great she's dog. If you guys want to adopt her, make sure you go check out Grand Strand Humane Society. She'll be there. She also qualifies for their senior program, mm -hmm, right. which is fantastic, too. Yes. Kathy, thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, thanks for being with us. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Real quick, want to remind you, today is Palmetto Giving Day. It's Tuesday, 24 hours, so till midnight tonight. Please consider going to palmettogivingday.org. Two really great organizations we support. One, Empower Angels and Cecil's Children's Recovery Center. Really important for these nonprofits That's in the right, area. Children's Recovery Center dealing with uh, neglected and abused kids That's in right. Georgetown County. All right, let's go. We'll find out a little bit about today. Today is Tuesday, May 1st. 
And this is May Day, of course. All right, and it is also Stepmother's Day. All righty. Birthday right. today, 1967. Tim McGraw, there he is with that hat. 51 years old, he had 11 albums reaching number one. He was in the movies The Kingdom and, uh, let's see, and Tomorrowland. And uh, let's see, father was baseball star Tug McGraw, in case you didn't know that. All right, 1972, Julie Benz is 46 years old. Um, the series Dexter, the, and also the film The Boondock Saints, and um, also in All Saints Day. All right, 1982, Jamie Dornan, she's thir uh, sh he's 39. TV Once Upon a Time and the movie Fifty Shades of Grey. How about that? Early days, he was an Irish in an Irish folk band. All right, and talking about a Mr. Potato Head again today <laughs> in history, he's making a lot of history. 1952, the production of Mr. Potato Head began. Yes, it did. 1986, Bill Elliott set a stock car speed record with his Ford Thunderbird in Talladega, and uh, Elliott reached a speed of 212 miles per hour. Wow. wow. All right. All right, know it all department. Are you ready for this one? Okay, all of you movie lovers, in a very early draft of Raiders of the Lost Ark, everybody's seen that where he brings a knife to a gunfight, you know what he says. Well, in the early version of it, before they changed it up, Indiana Jones carried brass knuckles instead of a bullwhip. But they figured the bullwhip would work a little better, so they gave him the bullwhip huh. to do that. That's from Know It All Department today, something you learn about every day on this show. That's right, we've got a packed show today. Stick around, we'll be right back. What do you look for when you want something entertaining, informative, and lots of fun? Carolina and Company Live with Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. This show keeps you informed of everything happening along the Grand Strand. Petey and Porterville. Tired of watching the same old, same old every day? Why not tune in to Carolina and Company Live? A show that's just plain fun. Hollywood! <laughs> Weekdays at noon on WPDE ABC 15. And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. Right now, we're talking about the third annual Beach Bash for the Veterans. It's set for Sunday, May 6th. It's going to take place right down at Scotty's in Surfside. That's right. And uh, we got Ron and Jeff with us now. That's right. Absolutely. Now, great event. Um, first of all, you know, why did Scotty's, why do you guys want to be involved in, in this event? And then we'll talk a little bit about the actual event. It's just a platform for us to raise money for local vets. And a lot of people come down there. Let me tell you, it's only four blocks from my house. I'll be there. <laughs> you'll, you'll hear yeah. us. And they, raise a lot, and they raise a lot of money too, right, Jeff? Uh, last year was $10,000 we raised. Wow. So uh, obviously very, very successful. Something the community really gets around a little bit. Tell us a little bit about, um, you know, what's going to be there and why this is so important. Well, the Veterans Welcome Home and Resource Center does a lot of things for veterans. We do job placement. We do VA claims. We do financial assistance. And we're also a shelter. And so we rely on the community to provide us with the funds that we need to keep our doors open and to help the veterans get back on their feet. Now, how long have you been doing this, Ron? I've been doing this for four years now. Four years now. Okay. All right. Now, Jeff, this is open to anybody, and y'all going to feed. What kind of food you got? Uh, we got a fish fry, and for people that don't do fish, we got hot dogs. Uh, huh? We got a silent auction, three live bands. Wow. Three live bands? Summer drink contest to uh, get you on our menu this summer. That's awesome. That's pretty good. So you, that, so what do we, how, how, good. Wait a minute. How does that work? I want to know about the summer drink contest. You come in, you create your own drink, and that could actually uh, UV be UV Vodka is sponsoring it, and okay. we have about five-ish flavors uh, so far that you can experiment with, play with. and Very uh, cool. No winner gets on our menu. So it's going to be yeah. a fun event. Um, yeah. Open Believe to everybody. Sure. And yeah. what time is it going to get started? It's going to start about noon, and it's going to go to about 6. And I tell you what, now, y'all think I'm kidding you, but the fish, the I think it's flounder y'all had flounder last, last year. Oh, man, it mm -hmm. was unbelievable. I tell you, I mean, they give you a, a nice serving of it, mm -hmm. plus a lot of stuff they're giving away, like you can go in motels and stay in, all kind of oh, nice our places. Our silent auction is amazing. It's got so much stuff in it. And, you know, awesome. Yeah. Hotels, okay. uh, foursomes for golf packages, all the best local yeah. places to eat. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Don't forget, it's coming up That's this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday May Sunday 6th, afternoon. right down at Scotty's on the beach. Everyone is welcome, as well as veterans. Yep. You know, if you need some help, yep. come on out and give these, you know, talk to these guys. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us.
Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. The 2018 um, annual Lumbee Powwow Dance of the Spring Moon is set for the week of, of May the 4th through the 6th. So coming up in just a few days, That's right. we've got John and Kaya with us. That's Kaya? right. I'm Kaya. sorry. Kaya. <laughs> Kaya. It's the 2018 Lumbee Powwow Dance, and they are dressed for the occasion today. That's right. We've got John and Kaya with us. And John, let's talk a little bit about the powwow. Um, yes, sir. It's actually the largest powwow east of the Mississippi. Um, we're going to have about seven to 12 drum groups. Um, over 300 dancers will be there. We'll have food, arts and crafts. Um, a lot of people. It's going to be good, clean fun for families to be there. Um, also, um, with this, we'll have local food and our local, our, a lot of our local food vendors will be there selling their food, doing a lot of traditional food. So please come out and enjoy it. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend for the weather. All right, Kay, I, I want to ask, you know, why do you guys do this? What, what is the purpose behind having this celebration? So, you know, this is a great opportunity for people that might have never uh, seen or heard of the Lumbee people to get a chance to see and participate in song and dance with us and just learn about who we are. That's awesome. That's and exactly watching the, the answer dance, I wanted. I've been to this a long time ago, and just watching it is amazing to see y'all do it. Now, do both y'all dance? Do y'all both yes, do sir. it? Yes, sir. That's really? awesome. That is so cool. All right. Now, this is something that everybody's invited to, right? Yes, sir. We invite all the public, um, anybody to it. Um, we promote our American Indian culture and who we are as Lumbee people, but we invite all races out to this. And definitely right. and definitely bring the kids as well because, you know, exposing yep. them to everything is, is super, super important. What time are we starting and where is it located? It is located at the Lumbee Tribe Culture Center, which is um, right outside of Piermont, North Carolina, right close to Pernan Sweat High School. Yeah. Um, it starts on Friday, Grand Juice at 7, Saturday, Grand Juice at 1, and at 7 again that evening, and on Sunday, Grand Juice is going to be at 1. All right, all, all right. weekend. You got storytelling games, hay rides, and vendors, and a lot more, right? Yes, yes sir. All right, guys. Thank y'all both. Like I love your outfit. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank y'all. Very, very all right. neat. All right, we've got more coming up. Stick around.
All right, welcome back. It's time now for the, uh, let's see, the Fiddler on the Green Golf Tournament. It's coming up in June, but we want to get you involved now. All right, this is a fundraiser to support the Long Bay Symphony, and we're going to talk to Joe a little bit about. Thank you. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Long Bay Symphony Guild, you know, what you guys do, and then we'll talk about the outing. Well, the Guild is uh, the fundraising arm of the symphony. Yes. So we're out there looking to set up events that help fund the symphony. Uh, the symphony also looks for major sponsors too. We kind of look at smaller sponsors on sure. the guild side. But we have fundraisers that go on all year. The golf outing happens to be our biggest fundraiser of the year. Right. And uh, last year we made about $9,000. This year we're hoping to make 10000 uh, And it's, it's just a great event. It's a great day. And if you're a golfer, it's just a fun day. All right, $75 calls, per person, door prizes, um, teams. You know, you're ready to sign people up right now. We are, and you can go to longbaysymphony.com. Uh, you can call the office. Uh, everything is handled over the phone or online. Mm -hmm. It's very simple to register as a golfer or to register as a sponsor. All right, what's everybody going to get yeah. when they get there? What time? Um, it's, uh, it's an 8.30 shotgun start, which means registration's at 7.30 to 8.30. Okay. We take off at 8.30. We're usually done around 1 o'clock. Uh, we got free breakfast, uh, and, and uh, Panera is doing breakfast for us this year, which hey, is a new cool. sponsor. Yeah. And uh, Drunken Jacks is doing lunch for us. Ooh. So you got breakfast and lunch breakfast for the golf lunch. No and, one is going to go hungry. For and, sure. and free drinks on the course, and games on the course that are pretty interesting. So you can win something all the time. All the time. It's well, just that's going to be a event. big event. Now you're still looking right now, so you need to get in touch now because the tournament comes up on June 9th. June the 9th, right? So please call the office. Let's uh, get as many golfers out there as we can to support the symphony. And in fact, I'll make a deal. All right. Tell if me. you if you mention Cecil, Amanda, or Caroline and company. Uh oh. Ten bucks off, sixty-five dollars. How about right, that? You get a is. deal if you just you mention one of us. Joe, right. it's always a pleasure to see you, buddy. Thank you. Always. Thank always. you for everything. Yep. Appreciate All right. it. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, coming up now, SOS is holding Mayfest for Autism on Saturday, May 12th. It's going to be at the Waterway House, and we're going to learn a lot more about it. All right, live music, barbecue, all kinds of stuff. I've got Karen with me right now. Karen, um, tell us real quick, what is SOS Autism, and then let's talk about the event. Okay, so SOS is a nonprofit that... Um, supports intellectual disabilities and individuals with autism throughout their lifespan, so from childhood through adults. So they, um, we provide programs of support such as um, uh, skills, learning how to speak, interact, social skills, function, everyday sure. living, coaching, job employment. Support. Support. For, support for the, the people and for their families. Right. I mean, that's, that's right. huge. It's, not, it's, it's so something we, that there's not a ton of. We have 14 programs. Great. We service over 1,200 1,200 individuals, um, and um, the only way that we can do this is on the generosity of people giving and supporting in our community. Okay, uh, so right, Mayfest. This, yeah, this is coming up now. There's a cover charge, 10 bucks, and uh, and it's going to be, tell them where it's going to be and all, and what time it starts. Okay, it starts at 2, and it runs from 10. We're going to have live music. Um, we're going to have um, DJ Louis DeMonte. Yeah. We're going to have um, Stevie Mac. We're going to have an outdoor barbecue. We're going to do a 50-50 raffle. 
um, that will go out throughout the day. We'll have several of those. Um, door prizes. We will also have raffle prizes. We have a couple sponsors that I'd like to mention with their support, Carolina Coastal Plastic Surgery, Hardwick Restaurant Supply, Five Star Property Management, Celebrations Nightlife, Myrtle Beach Water Sports, and Visconti Landscaping and Power Lighting Design. Okay. Um, right. now, this, is, this is a big fundraiser. Is this the first time y'all done it this? It is, and we're hoping okay. that it's such a success that the Waterway House will want to do this every year for us. I, well, we I think so. it definitely yeah. will be a wonderful cause to support. You guys are also participating today in Palmetto Giving Day. We are. So you can also go online and look up um, SOS Healthcare, and you can choose to donate for us, and those funds are also matched for SOS Healthcare. So anything that you donate, they will be matched today. So yeah. please consider giving and stop by, buy your tickets online or at the door. All right. Autism Fantastic. awareness. Everybody needs to know more about it, and we've been learning Absolutely. a lot about it over the last five years, I promise you. At one in 56 people are affected. Wow. 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 Yeah. Definitely Thanks, families Karen. need the support. Yeah. Thanks for being Thank with you. us. Thank uh you. -huh. Bye. Okay. More coming up. Stay with us. It is a Tuesday. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live talking oh, oh, about, I know, I'm, I'm going to cough in a second, talking about the Polly's Island Rotary and they are having a barbecue fundraiser comes up on Thursday. So if you, if you like barbecue, we're going to find out a little That's bit about right. it. That's right. we got Jane and Jim <laughs> with us now. And, and Jane, let's talk about the barbecue. Tell me a little bit about it. It's going to start at 1130 on Thursday morning and we're going to run till six o'clock. Where? Uh, it's on the lawn in front of uh, Georgetown Craft Credit Union which is right across the street from Fresh Market on 17. Right there in Polly's, okay. you can't miss it. And there's a light on the corner, which is very important. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> y'all do, have y'all done this every year? Or is this um, the first this time? This is the third time. Third time, third uh, annual. Yes. So right. We did it years ago and we stopped and we started, decided to do it again. Well, it right. looks like the weather is going to be beautiful for so. the event, which means <laughs> it'll bring is. people out. Um, Jim, tell us who is going to be, you know who's going to be doing the barbecue for this event? Uh, yes, we're going to have, um, Deborah from the uh, Bagel Cafe, her catering division. She oh. has some great food. She's going to be she catering sure the event. And um, you know, we're looking forward. We've got some nice weather this week. Um, everything on this and all the, the uh, benefits will uh, go, the money goes to Alzheimer Research. Okay. Yeah. Well, it Fantastic. starts at 11.30, runs to 5. And uh, the good thing about it, you can pick it up 
and have it for supper that night too. Right. If you don't want to have it for lunch, that's, that's right. a good thing. And now, if you've got, how about if somebody calls in with twenty-five orders, will you get it to them? No, we won't. We're not. We're not. Not we gonna be able to the, deliver. We're not going to deliver. Okay. But if uh, they can get in touch with us through our Facebook page, and we'll have the orders have waiting. They'll have it ready, yeah. packed okay. up, ready, waiting yeah. for it's them. They can take it. Ten dollars a plate. Ten dollars yeah. a plate. Can. What all goes with that now? You barbecue. Get barbecue, chicken bog, coleslaw, oh. and baked beans. Wow. That's a good meal for yeah, me. Buddy, yeah, buddy. Awesome. I like that. That's a good meal for that's me. That's awesome. Buddy. Now, um, Polly Salamrider, you guys support. You said this is going to go to Alzheimer's right. Um, right. research. And um, tell us a little bit of, about the Rotary, how you can get involved if somebody wants to become a member. We meet every Thursday at 1230 at Lishfield Country Club. Anybody who would like to come and visit and have lunch with us, they're more than welcome. And uh, if you you come and you like us, you might want to stay and come back. That's awesome. And, uh, <laughs> How many members roughly do you all have? About 40, between about 40 and 45. Yeah. Rotary clubs, they do so much they all sure over, do. and every time you turn around, they're doing something. Fantastic. We appreciate you. Tell them one more time when it starts, where it's going to be in all. 11.30 to 6 on uh, Route 17 at uh, Georgetown Craft Credit Union. We'll be right on the corner. Right May 3rd. May 3rd. Third. Third, Thursday. Coming up on Thursday. 11.30 to if 5, you, need... you can have lunch and then take some home for supper. That, you sure can, can or for, can or for your business. I that's Y'all, thank you for being thank with you. us. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. All right. Stick around. We've got more coming up. Just starting a new business or you have an established business that you need to let people know about? It has been proven that television advertising works. Carolina and Company Live is a show that can do just that. You can show what you have to sell and talk about it at the same time. You're the salesperson. It's a fun show that covers everything happening in the PD area, the Grand Strand, and North Carolina. Wanting to improve your business? Then advertise on Carolina and Company Live. Contact me and we'll take care of you. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Hope you have enjoyed today's show. You know what? There's a ton going on. A packed house today. It was unbelievable. I'm we have a lot of people you. here. Lots but. going on in the area. And this is a show you find out about everything happening. Uh, South Strand, Grand Strand, everything. Um, and I, I think yeah, it's, I think it's really area awesome. And yeah. North Carolina. Talking about North Carolina, guess where we're going tomorrow? We're going. That's Lauren right. We're Berg, headed North to Laurenburg. We are on the road in Scotland County right there tomorrow. So we will see you in Laurenburg tomorrow. Today... I'm headed out to Palmetto Giving Day. You going? Hey, it's going to be a That's big right. day for everybody. All you charities, check them out online and find out who you can give to and help them out. That's, That's what it's all about. Thank you all so much. We'll Have a great afternoon. We'll see you in Laurenburg tomorrow. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. The confusion today. I got a real cobra? No, no. I got to record. Cecil, I got to record. Can you all go that way? Sorry, I'm sorry. That's fine. What's your record? I, something for tomorrow, a bump for tomorrow. All right. Okay. Come on out here. Let's Hold on. They're loud. In three, two, one. In three, two, one. This interview is brought to you by Rejuvenate. In three, two, one. This interview is brought to you by Bonefish Grill. Three, two, one. This segment is brought to you by Bonefish Grill. Is that okay? Three, two, one. This segment is brought to you by Bonefish Grill.
Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events right here in Scotland County. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in Scotland County, it's on right here. Hey everybody, welcome to Carolina and Company Live right here on the road in Scotland County. Talking today about Multitudes Church Ministries right here, an interactive church. I can't wait to get inside. It looks awesome and very welcoming environment as well. And apparently they're getting ready to start a new um, sermon. It's going to be on Esther, which is a really great story if you guys have never read it. A lot of awesome things coming up on the show as well yeah, today. A lot of great stuff today. We're talking about 